Hi, my name is Emma and I'm a volunteer museum educator here at Lancaster History. Today we'll be washing away any misconceptions on hygiene and talk about Victorian bathing habits. So grab your soap and water and follow me! In the Victorian era, a full body bath occurred usually once a week, whereas exposed skin washing occurred around twice daily. Now, when Buchanan would have to take a bath, he would use his hat tub seen here. Now, it got its name because it looks like an inverted hat. To use his full body bath, James Buchanan would have stood in the center here or sit on the little stoop there. He would have had a pitcher of water brought up by his stand, or as they're also called, personal attendants, as well as a bar of soap, and he would have essentially given himself a sponge bath. The dirty water would have collected in the center, and then when the stand went to empty the water, it would have gone through the little hole right there. Now, twice daily, Victorians would do something called exposed skin washing, and that's what you would use your washing up station for. You would wash your hands, your forearms, your neck, and your face. Uh, ladies would usually be wearing a shift and men a shirt. Uh, James Buchanan would have used his pitcher and basin here. Now, on the subject of washing hair, there's a lot of differing opinions, especially depending on the period book you read. In the 1889 article called The Hair in Good Housekeeping, they said that ladies should wash their hair once every two weeks, which differed in opinion from other articles which said that one should wash their hair once daily. So it kind of became more of a matter of preference, which is not very different from how it is today. While facial hair was very popular for men in the mid-19th century, James Buchanan preferred to keep a clean-shaven face. To accomplish this, he would have used his shaving stand. Uh, the materials he would have used, of course, were a straight-edged razor, his shaving cup, a shaving brush, and shaving soap. Now, while all these bathing habits might seem a little bit distant to our own, I'm sure you'll find some familiarity with the tub and the shower head. Uh, during the 1870s, when Harriet Lane inherited the house, she decided to convert the storage room into a bathroom, complete with tub, shower head, bidet, toilet, and sink. Uh, now, indoor bathrooms were not really common during this time period. In the 1880s, only about a quarter of urban American homes had indoor bathrooms in them. We hope you enjoyed getting the scoop on what bathing was like in the Victorian era. We hope to see you again on another episode of Wheatland in Detail. Bye!